Hey, what's going on internet? Josh and Noel from Sunduck Film. Thank you for clicking on this DaVinci Resolve tutorial. The title says it all, so let's get started. So I will go here and I'm going to reset all grades and notes. And you can download this clip in the description. It is a raw clip, so you have a lot to work with and um, you can follow along with this tutorial. So the first thing I want to do is apply a 3D LUT. Uh, so I'll right click the first node, go to 3D LUT and hover over VFX IO and go to BMD Film to Linear. And that will make everything super dark, but no need to worry. So what I'll do is go up to Nodes, Add Serial Node, and then I will right click this clip, go to 3D LUT, go to VFX IO, and go to Linear to Cineon Log. And there we have it. So now we have a very nice flat image. So next thing I'm going to do is create a new node, new serial node, and I'm going to start to level this thing out a little bit. So I'm going to bring down the lift just a hair. Well, a little too much maybe. Okay. And then I'm going to raise up the gamma and then probably really shoot up the gain. And then I'm also going to go ahead and increase the contrast. Okay. So before and after, and we have a pretty cool, you know, contrasted image. This is supposed to be a, you know, a dark image. So I'm not really trying to, uh, you know, have, you know, 100% proper exposure um, in the shot. So anyway, let's just keep moving. I'm going to create a new serial node. And I'm going to go ahead and apply our grade, or at least a starter grade. Um, so I'm going to go to the lift, and I'm going to drag this down to the blues a little bit. And then go to the gamma and drag it down to the greens. And then go up the gain and bring it up to the reds a bit. And then maybe drag down the lift to the blues and maybe pull off on the greens a little bit. And maybe pull up on the gain a little bit on the uh, oranges. Uh, let's take a look. And maybe I'll pull down on the blues just a little bit more. Cool. So a little before and after, we got a cool looking grade here, but uh, it's nothing to brag about. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my quick technique, what I like to do. So what I'll do is create a new serial node and then go up to nodes, uh, add layer node. And then right here, I will increase the contrast, bring down the saturation all the way to zero, create a new serial node uh, and go ahead and apply the lift uh, to the blues, the gammas to the greens and the gain to the reds. Uh, red oranges a little bit there and then on layer mixer right here right click it and click uh, composite mode and go to uh, soft lights which is right here all right and that looks terrible so what I'll, what I'll do is create a new serial node and create a new layer node and I will disconnect the connection here to the layer mixer uh, 11 to layer mixer delete that drag a new connection all the way to 04 and then click on our key icon. And then I will go to key input and bring down the gain a little bit to bring some of that contrast back into the image. So we have full control over uh, this sort of artistic uh, setup, but uh, it's really awesome. So it's really dark and contrasting. The colors really pop up at me. So then I'll go to layer mixer, create a new serial node. And then I'm going to you know, maybe saturate these reds a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll go to the curves tab and then go to hue versus sat and I'll just click a few points here click in the little color uh, you know preset tabs here and then increase the reds uh, maybe not so much maybe I'll even bring up the oranges a little bit and see if this does anything so a little before and after it slightly punches up the image just a little bit um, alright and then after this uh, let's see I might want to Definitely create a new uh, serial node here. You know, what I like to do is go to the curves um, and make sure you broke the chain and just kind of increase the shadows just a little bit. And now bring the detail kind of like right back in the image so it's not completely, you know, crushed. Uh, so a little before and after. And, you know, maybe I'll even, you know, add maybe just a little bit more blue, you know, more of a blue touch into the image. So, yeah, so you have a, just a little bit more detail in this shot. And that just looks awesome. 
If you enjoyed this tutorial, please drop a like. It helps me out tremendously. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And for more tutorials, you can check out sundukfilm.com. I'll see you guys soon.